Oh, wow, he's back right now. Your desk. What the fuck is wrong with you? What? Hello? Oh, your microphone's hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops. Good morning, chat. Welcome to Call of Duty and Coffee. I hope you guys have your favorite cup of joe. Something that will keep you guys awake. I know I was up pretty late last night working on uh, trying to win in some war zone, uh, but you know how it goes. You win some, you lose some. Didn't sleep very well. Um, <laughs> I was stressed out about not winning, but you know, I was carrying the team the whole time, so you guys know how it is. A lot of stress there. They'll tell you a different story, but you know, they're not, they're not really all there. I am uh, still updating my cold war. I forgot to continue the update from, from Thursday because I paused it. Uh, it should be done in just a moment. We're going to check out the zombie mode or the new zombie outbreak. I've been wanting to check it out. Looks pretty cool. Haven't really looked into it at all. Actually, while it's updating, it'll be a good time to look at it. How's everybody's morning? Ooh, okay, so Outbreak is an objective-based game experience with up to four operators. Okay, so it's team based. Okay, so it's not like it's not like a, a battle royale situation. You have a team. You don't have to worry about other players. Hmm. Almost done on the update. Got two and a half gigabytes remaining. Let's see. So my mission in Outbreak is to aid Requiem in their most important operation yet. Along with up to three other operators, your objective is to explore designated regions in the Outbreak zone around the Ural Mountains and assist Requiem's other divisions in completing their objectives as their most elite strike team. <laughs> yeah, it's true. After each experiment is done, you must either successfully exfiltrate the area, or if you choose to accept the risk of deadlier encounters, enter rifts through the dark ether to another region to assist with more objectives. Okay, so it's kind of like just regular zombie mode. A typical outbreak mission begins with a Requiem strike team entering one of these regions via helicopter. Okay, scared of heights, but I can deal. Armed with a custom starting weapon and field upgrade. Just like regular zombie mode. A waypoint in the overworld, which also appears on the main map and minimap, marks the location of Requiem's primary research objective with a star. 
Unlike any other zombies experience thus far, there are no set paths to and from the objective. Agents can take as much time as they wish to explore the area, searching for rewards either in loot chests, encountering various random events, or activating a trial computer. For the small cost of 500 essence, Requiem agents can also make jump can also take jump pads found in the regions that launch them high into the air allowing them to reach objectives safely and, if they are skilled enough, parachute to collect essence containers during the descent that can cover the cost of their flight fee, and then some. Okay. So it's kind of open world. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I wonder what the map looks like. This would be kind of cool. Alright, almost done. Good morning. Got my bane of mice. Coffee tumbler. Just grab it. Say hello to the world. <laughs> to the hydra face. <laughs> oh, they see you. Black Rifle Coffee. Man, I've been wanting to check it out. I think I'm going to pick up a bag today while I'm out and about. Do they have uh, different flavors, or is it all like one flavor? Oh. Looks like we're ready. Now, I've I've played a little bit of zombies before. Ooh, vanilla. Ooh, I do love me some vanilla coffee. Yeah, that'll probably be my choice too. I like hazelnut as well, but hazelnut can be a little much. Yeah, I've got a little bit of experience with zombie, zombies and uh, black ops. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So I know you get to make your own loadout. I know that much, just like in any other Call of Duty game. And then you, instead of having a secondary, you have a field upgrade, which is... Uh... Okay, I'm loading shaders field upgrade which is gives you basically uh it's kind of like a lethal like i know one of the upgrades that i was playing with was basically a like a landmine starburst landmine uh that would kill a bit of zombies and then there's another one where you literally drop like a ring of fire around you which makes it to where you don't have to reload your gun instead of it just pulls the ammo straight out of your uh your mag uh, your ammo reserves and you'll just run through that so say you have like 200 rounds you'll just go through the 200 rounds before you go through the magazine that's actually in the rifle and also boost your damage which is pretty cool was, that's actually the one that's uh kind of favored in my opinion Zombies. The outbreak event. The dark ether's power looms and the outbreak can no longer be contained. So I'm doing outbreak, yep. Fight off hordes of zombies in war zone and outbreak, the all new massive open world zombies experience in Black Ops Cold War. Complete challenges in both Outbreak and Warzone to unlock exclusive Outbreak event rewards. And there's two exclusive blueprints. Uh, well, I probably won't do that, but... 
Blah, 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 double XP. Let's just get right into it. Hopefully they find me a party. Oop, I didn't even think about my weapons. Yeah, I got the FAR. I could work with that. Do 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, the ring of fire. Yep, that's that's the field upgrade I was telling you guys about. Yep, creates that that ring. It also damages zombies that are inside your your ring. And it lasts for about 30 seconds. It's, it's a good while. And it, oh, especially if you have like your gun upgraded with the uh, the pack a punch, which like gives you an insane amount of ammo. Like I'm talking like three to four hundred rounds. Yeah, you can really just melt through the the wave that's trying to kill you or die. I actually I ran out of creamer this morning. So, um, I use a little bit of milk and then I put some heavy whipping cream in there. So, yeah. Love whipped cream. My coffee actually stopped like right here and the rest of it was, <laughs> it was whipped cream. Uh, I don't tell my diet. Moves through the region towards objective. Along the way, kill zombies and gather resources. Okay. If you guys have any tips on zombies, let me know. I know headshots are the best. But don't, don't spam. Welcome back, strike team. Time to go to work. Field ops. We've identified a crystal power node in your vicinity. Let's go. Coordinates marked. Power nodes Ooh. will be neutralized. Ooh, that sounds really good. I like cold coffee anyways. First encounter. A dead asshole neutralized. That's enough out of you. Just like like some vanilla bean coffee on the bottom. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be cool. I'm, see, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Ooh, yes. Back up with my squad here. Uh. Migrating host. Oh, I guess. Oh, man, he quit. What are you quitting for? Or maybe they just had too much ping. So far, though, first impression this is kind of cool. I kind of like the open world zombie thing. I think it kind of reminds me of the uh, the PUBG zombie experience. If you guys ever played that, I, I I never I don't really play it, but watching other people play that was pretty cool. Oh, looks like we might have uh, an issue here. Might have to start all over again. The zombies is actually a really good way to uh, uh, level up your weapons as well because you can get so many so much experience points. In a single match. I 
I don't know about y'all, but tell me if this is different for you guys. It just seems like the week is busy, and then the weekend just is just even busier. Is that just me, or is that everybody else? Looks like we got a connection issue here. Seems like the the server server's connection's just been trash since the update, man. We was talking about it last night. It seems like it's almost broken. Yep, lost connection. Yeah, it's almost like it's not really a weekend anymore. It's just like okay, now now is your your two days to do everything else in your life. It's like ugh. Personally, I have one or two days of the of the month where I just do nothing. I just lounge around. I, there could be a stack of chores to do around the house, and I'm just like, nope, not right now. I'm, I'll do it tomorrow. You, I gotta have a day where I just I just veg. Oh yeah, we look like the elite strike team. Ooh. It's kind of cool, man. This is a cool map. Just looking at the ba the background behind this loading in the back of this loading screen. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yep, for sure. <laughs> yep, I've I've got two light bulbs in my kitchen that I've been meaning to replace. It's been about two months. Try a new gun. Man, I need a new video card. Look, I'm only getting like 60 to 70 frames a second. You know the drill. Make Requiem proud. Oh. Photon indicates a power node nearby. That crystal's accelerating the Ethereum infestation in this area. Coordinates marked. Power node will be neutralized. Hey, I found, I found essence in the toilet. I got some of that in my bathroom right now. Guess you can't check upstairs. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow is probably my favorite response to uh, Andy, can you do this? Or Kevin, can you do this? Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, so some this this game is all part of the important.
That crystal is accelerating the ethereal infestation of this region. Blow it back to hell. Toilets, because that seems to be where all the essence is. <laughs> oh, you're dead. All right, buddy, take care of the little one, man. Give her all the attention. It's an improvement. Okay, so it seems like my squad has left me here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up. I think I'm doing more exploring than they are. Ooh. I don't wanna change my gun. Hey. Hey, bud. Give me the sign, give me the sign. Okay. He's not. Oh, you know what this is? This is where they jump horses. <laughs> Ooh, a bridge. It's always huh? loot on the bridge. Like Rick Grimes. Blow the bridge! Blow the bridge! Is it level two? Nope, we already got level one armor. Thanks, bud. in the field has ears. <laughs> no! Get away. Come on out. Here we go. Hold on. It's a long ride. Why is it such a long ride? Did he go outside? Oh, okay, these guys don't want to go. Undead hostile eliminated. Who's taking on my kids? Push. 
Heavy push, heavy push. Here we go. That's enough out of you. We need ammo real soon. Exciting. To the mold. Did y'all watch that? Y'all remember in the Matrix that scene where the the guy is like taking them all on and he's inside the robot. This is the third one. Here we go. Nemo, Metro, the Matrix. Is that what his name was? He was like the uh, the guy who was in charge of creating the humans. Everybody, dance! Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me! I don't remember his name, it was in the third one. And he's inside that mech robot. And he's like the last guy left. And he's just sitting there like, ah! Welcome back. That hey. crystal is history, Carver. He's shooting all the sentinels. Solid copy. Like, yeah, that's nice. For the moment. Mystery box right there. Oh yeah. Launcher. Lucky me. Thank you for the love. <laughs> Alright, let's save my rockets. Get out of here. Oh, I see a chest. That's not a chest. Oh, I, ooh, can I collect it? Nope, can't collect it. Alright, let me meet up with my team, because I really don't want to be by myself. <laughs> so you all saw how the ring of fire worked? That was actually really cool. Like, uh, you, you throw it down, it gives you a boost in damage, and it also gives you the, the uh, where you just pull from your ammo pool directly instead of um, having to reload, which is actually really nice, especially how you saw that it got real thick in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and then you, that's how you do it, you gotta train them together so you can just take them all out in a single file, you call it training, you train them like choo choo train, how do I ping in this one, is it V, X, I guess there's no ping, oh, well, no, because that, that guy pinged. Huh? Stuck here. 
Oh, that hurt me? Wow. Okay, so fall damage is more real in this one than the war zone. Oh, yep. Stupid me. Let's run through the fire, Kevin. I'm a window breaker. Ooh, what's that? We're about to find out together. Okay. That was interesting. 